Hey guys, what is up? Oh my gosh, I want to share this pattern with you. It is super awesome. Um, if you've been looking for a really cool houndstooth pattern, this could be the one that you fall in love with. I know I did. Um, it's not that difficult. Uh, for this particular scarf, I used a size 5 um, crochet hook. And if you've never uh, used one of these smooth crochet hooks, I definitely suggest you purchase one um, because it will definitely improve your your crochet experience. Um, then they're totally worth the extra few dollars. Okay, so this scarf actually, um, or this pattern, it calls for a multiple of four plus two. For the tutorial, um, I used a chain of 22 um, and I chose a couple different colors. Now over here, you'll see that my threads are hanging. However, when you're working this, all you're gonna do is carry your colors up the side because, look, just like this, okay? Because you're gonna do the color change every two rows. So with your color, you're gonna meet yourself right back here, which means you can just carry your color up all the way on the side and it looks really neat, okay? All right, so if you guys are ready to check this out and create something super cool, go ahead and grab your favorite crochet hook um, and some yarn that goes with it. You're gonna need two colors. I'll meet you right back here with a chain of 22. All right, so we have our chain of 22. And then from here, we're just gonna single crochet in each chain all the way to the end. So insert your hook. single crochet and then we're going to follow this process all the way down to the very last chain okay so i'll meet you guys right back here okay so we've single crocheted all the way down to the end and then for the sample so i've used 22 stitches all right so then from here what we're going to do is chain one and then we're going to turn and you're going to single crochet in the first three um, single crochets so this was the very first one right here. So one, two, and then we're going to chain one, skip one. So chain one, skip one, and then we're going to single crochet in the next three, one, two, three. Then you're going to repeat this. So chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next three, all the way to the end, and then you're going to end chain one, skip one single crochet, one single crochet, and the last single crochet. So I'll meet you guys down at the end. We can do this together. All right, so we're down to the end, and then we're just going to chain one, You've got your last two stitches, skip that one, and then we're going to single crochet in the very last stitch here. But on this last part, what we're going to do is do a color change. So go ahead and get your color, bring it through these last two loops. I'll show you how to do that too. Hang on just a sec. Okay, so you're just going to bring your next color through, chain one, turn. You have a hole there that's going to be used, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple stitches down. So what we're going to do is single crochet in the first single crochet here. Then you're going to do a single crochet in that chain space, not in this space here, but the chain right above it. And you're not going to do this every time. The, the first row, you know, the first foundation, the foundation row is always crappy. Um, it's like I hate it. It's like my, my least favorite part of any crochet project, but I love crochet. But anyway, okay, so then moving on, one more crochet. So you've got one, two, three single crochet. Now you're going to use this skipped space right here, okay? And what you're going to do is yarn over and just make a long double crochet.
All right. Then you're going to skip the next space. So you're going to skip the space right after the long double crochet. And you're going to single crochet in the next single. You're going to do a single crochet in the next chain. Not in here, but in the chain above it. And then one more. And then we're going to do another long double crochet in your skipped single crochet from the row below. Alright, and then we're going to follow this technique all the way down to the last um, stitch. And I'll meet you guys down, whoops, oh, sorry, I'm, I'll meet you guys down at the end um, in just a second. Alright, so we're down to the last two stitches. So we have the one, the single crochet we're going to skip, and then we're going to single crochet in the very last one. Okay, chain one, turn. Now you're going to single crochet in the very first three. So the first three stitches. One is your single crochet. Then you're going to do a single into the long double from a row below. And then you're going to do one more single. Okay, so you've got your three stitches, and then you have your skipped space from over over here from um, the very last double crochet you made, remember? So you're going to do a long double crochet in there. So yarn over, long double crochet, whoops, oh man, let's see, let's start that one over. Okay, remember, you're always going to skip the stitch right after, so you're going to skip that one. And the way the pattern's going to go is you're going to single crochet, you're going to skip, single crochet in the next SC, single crochet in the long DC, and then you're going to single crochet in the next one. Okay, so let's go. Let's do that one more time. So we're going to skip that one, single crochet, single crochet in your long one, single crochet in the one after, and then you've got your skipped space right there. You're going to do a long DC in that skipped space from the row below. Okay, then remember, one more time, skip, SC, 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 long double crochet. So as you can see, your 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 DCs kind of like cross each other. So this is going to be the pattern. And then I'll meet you guys down at the end because the end is where we're going to do our color change. And um, when we repeat row four, you're going to see how it all comes together. Okay, so I'll see you guys down here at the end in just a sec. All right, so we're down to the last two stitches, so we're going to skip the one, and we're going to single crochet in the last one. However, you're going to do, just like all the other rows, when you're changing the color, you're going to leave your last two loops on. And let's bring the next color through. Chain one. And then we're just going to do a repeat of row four. So you're going to do a single crochet in your first single crochet. You're going to do one in the long double crochet from the row below. And then you're going to do one more single crochet. And then you have your skipped space right over here from the row below. Don't worry about this part on the edge. This just looks like this because I'm not like joining it like you know hopefully you guys are um so you're going to do a long a long double crochet right here in your space and then you're just going to continue skip sc 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 
And then you've got your space over here again. You're going to do a long double crochet in your space right there. Alright, so you guys can kind of see how the pattern is coming along. Alright, so I'll meet you back down here at the end. Okay, so we're down to the end, and you can see how lovely this is going to be. Um, so basically, you're just going to repeat row four, and you're going to end up with something super duper lovely, either for yourself or someone else. So I hope that you guys really like this video, um, and please subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments, and I will chit chat with you guys in the very near future. And thanks so much for spending part of your day with the crochet lady. Bye.